The Interpack Countdown is on. Packaging Journal prepares you with Tightly Packed TV, the monthly magazine about packaging. Today, with bioplastics and packaging, foil from coffee grounds, thinner sleeves for more sustainability, and tablets that are printed rather than pressed. It is no longer possible to imagine the world of packaging without plastics. However, virgin plastic is usually made from oil and thus from a finite raw material. Bioplastics can be an alternative. According to the definition of the Association European Bioplastics, a material is a bioplastic if it is either bio-based, that is, consists partly or entirely of renewable raw materials, or is biodegradable, that is, can be broken down into its individual components by microorganisms under certain circumstances. In the best case, a bioplastic fulfills both conditions. The bioplastics can also be used in sensitive areas such as food packaging. The Japanese company Futamura, for example, sells the bioplastic film NatureFlex, which is also already in use for German products. In any case, the industry is confident. Only in December, European Bioplastics stated that production capabilities in the EU will increase from about 2.2 million to about 6.3 million tons in 2027. The main driver of this development is the packaging industry. One thing is clear. With the growth, the materials should also become attractive for medium-sized and smaller companies and also contribute to a positive carbon footprint. The British Waste Up project is researching and developing what can be made from bio-based waste. In one project, coffee grounds have now become the raw material for new plastic films. Coffee grounds are collected from restaurants in the UK and are then processed into a bio-based plastic film by the Spanish Plastics Technology Center, IMPLAS. And it does not stop there. The goal of the Waste Up project is to open up new value chains for urban bio-waste. For this purpose, not only polymers for film production are extracted from the coffee grounds, but coffee oil is also produced. One way to achieve a better CO2 balance is to reduce the use of superfluous materials. The Austrian company CCL Label has now been able to reduce its stretch leaves for PET bottles by a third, to 30 instead of the usual 45 micrometers thickness. Polyethylene is used as a monomaterial in the production of the sleeves. Thanks to its elastic properties, which are suitable for the application, neither heat nor adhesive are required when attaching the sleeve to the bottle, another point where emissions can be saved. The material also has the advantage that it is eminently recyclable. This example from Austria is just one of many of how companies can make their material use more efficient and reduce their CO2 emissions through consistent research and improvement. Ecological and economic management are not contradictory. And even more exciting research. Scientists at the Technical University of Cologne and the University of Dusseldorf have developed a new process that makes it even easier to print tablets instead of pressing them. In fact, 3D printing has now also arrived in the manufacture of medicines and is intended to provide personalized medicine here. So-called filaments are normally used for this, plastic melted and formed into long threads. However, filaments made from pharmaceutical polymer are often too soft or too brittle and cannot be reliably printed. However, researchers from the German Rhineland have now developed a process in which the plastic is printed directly without creating a filament. This should make it possible to print a medicine precisely and batch sizes between one and several thousand tablets. You can read exactly how this works online in the tightly packed magazine at interpack.de. Not long now, then the wait will be over. The anticipation is enormous for the largest and most international meeting of the processing and packaging industry. Around 2,700 key players and newcomers from all over the world will use Interpac from the 4th to the 10th of May as the venue for their premieres and to celebrate the long-awaited reunion of the global packaging industry. If you would like to prepare for your visit, you're welcome to do so online at interpac.com. We wish you a good time until then.